Hey, this is Rebbe coming to you live for episode 200 of Kill Tony. Here's Tony Hedgeclip. Wow. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to the number one live podcast in the world. Episode 200. Make some fucking noise. Holy shit. This show's fucking crazy. We're going to have so much fun tonight. Brian Redband's here to my left, ladies and hey, gentlemen. Hey, what's up, guys? We have the great Ryan J. Ebelt drawing tonight's episode. He has a blank sheet of paper in front of him while yeah. you lazy asses sit there and enjoy the show. He's literally drawing a special drawing of tonight's episode live as it happens. Those are all available at ryanjebelt.com. So is the official Kill Tony poster. Special shout out to the powerful Jamie Vernon on the HD camera in the back. And uh, to the great Mitzi Shore. Not quite spoken enough for having this amazing building. Put your hands together for the comedy store being our happy home. June, it'll be four years. That's 52 weeks a year. This is episode 200 of Kill Tony. Uh, this show is also going to be in both Austin, Texas on April 21st. In Houston on April 23rd, which is a Sunday. Yep. So we're having two shows and the, the Houston show. Uh, I have a secret show going on there. And we're also, as some people are doing stand-up comedy. Yeah. They're at that show in yeah. Houston. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I'm doing. we're touring. Check out our websites, blah, 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 blah. Who's ready to start tonight's motherfucking show, huh? Let's jump right into it. I'm going to bring up your two guests for tonight, your two secret, not so secret anymore, Kill Tony guests. Every single episode, I always have two of the funniest people, two of my funniest friends in the world as guests on this show. This week is no different. Put your hands together for the great. Dave Attell and Ron White. Yeah. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Yee-hoo. The great Ron White. The all-powerful David Hell. Welcome, my friend. We got some number one tequila, which we have already indulged in. That's Ron's amazing fucking tequila. Thank you. Uh, Ron, this is your first time on the show. Welcome to Kill Tony. I, was, I thought I was going to be a contestant. <laughs> uh, I got, I've got a solid uh, 60 seconds that uh, nobody's heard. I put my money on Ron right now. Go ahead. <laughs> is this a competition, Tony? Laringa. Uh, Laringa. You can bet on anything. I'm going to definitely bet on this one. Thank you. First Did of all, uh, I was on the 100th episode. Yes. We get you every 100 episodes. I love it. And I didn't think it would go this long, but how about a hand for Tony and the crew? <laughs> I really didn't. We wouldn't have made it this long had you not been on episode 100. I you thought by this time it would be some kind of house flipping tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're, I also have that coming out in a couple weeks. That is on YouTube on my page. Uh, you guys uh, ready to uh, keep it going? We have a band. We have a band, and we've had a band, and I'm going to bring them up. Every single week, they do something special and different. I never know what they're going to do, some wacky entrance. Put your hands together for the Kill Tony Band, Pat nice. Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Jimenez. Oh boy. Yeah, a little special recorded SNL up intro. Wow. I love that. This band is hot. <laughs> it is. You, you didn't I didn't know to... uh, Tom Petty had a daughter, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, Jeremiah. <laughs> hey, what is this guy scribbling about over there? What, what's happening? He, that guy there is. Is he uh, sending out a raven? Is this Game of Thrones? <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> he draws every episode. That's Ryan J. E. Belt. Oh, that's weird. Is it? <laughs> Does that ever get you laid? I draw comedy shows. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, what do you think? You know um, what? I, I think it's going to get him laid if he keeps on doing it. I think I find him interesting and engaging, and I just wonder what's going on over there. Wow. Yeah. Give it up for tequila, everybody. Yeah, there you go. Bonus points for Ryan J. E. Belt. 
Uh, so let's just get in tonight's show. This is the first time ever, I do believe, in which over 70 comedians signed up for the wow. chance. <laughs> this is, make some fucking noise, Holy comedians. Holy shit. Nice. Unbelievable. 70? People, uh... Signed up for the, we only get through so many, but they signed up for the opportunity to do 60 seconds uninterrupted on this very stage, on this very show. You know your time is up. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. That's what it sounds like. You don't want to hear that. Or what else that? Uh, that means you ran the light. Oh. You go a few seconds too long. Should have known that. I had no idea what I was getting into. <laughs> <laughs> Ron has listened to every episode of this podcast. That's not true. Oh, I, I stay up late at night listening to this. <laughs> uh, so let's just get into it. You guys ready to start tonight's show or what? Anything can happen. How do you feel, Jeremiah? Are you good over there? I feel great. Uh, you know, our intro is uh, it's the best of the band. Uh, you're going to be seeing some characters from past episodes sprinkled throughout this episode. Oh! So, uh, that's why it's a little underwhelming at the top, but just hold on tight. I love Ooh, that. I like that. That was smooth. We have a lot of favorite characters that these guys do. Reagan and Watkins has been one of the great evolutions of this show. Nice. Wow, the first person I pulled out of the bucket was the first person I ever met here at the comedy store. Uh, <laughs> He was, we were both signing up for the open mic outside when I met him, and here he is, first out of the bucket, Eddie Whitehead Jr. Eddie! <laughs> Eddie. There you go. Mm, he's thinner Eddie's, than I remember. Yeah, I'm free, free balling. No, wow, that's, that's what you wanted to get in there? <laughs> oh. Uh, Wait, how did he dare. do? How did he do? <laughs> uh, what? He wasn't here? No, he wasn't here. Uh, he's, uh, you have to be present to win, is that correct? Well, there's no winners and losers. This is Rock. like a new level of voter fraud. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a competition, Rob. Uh, Eddie is a homeless guy, so uh, he missed his spot. I, I guess his homelessness has nothing to do with him missing his <laughs> spot. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know. He's I wonder what person. Eddie Whitehead Sr. thinks. <laughs> Very disappointed. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands. This looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Kelsey Lane. Kelsey. Here she comes. This is a real human being. This way, this way, this way. Nice. Come on, make some noise for Kelsey Lane, everybody. Yeah, Here we on. go. Thanks, guys. I, uh, I'm going to sing you a song tonight. It's for all the chauvinistic, misogynistic men out there who view women as less than equal, who view them as uh, sexual objects. The song's for you. <laughs> Stop. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was my only song that was a minute or less, so. That's good. You still have 34 seconds left. Are you, uh, is that everything? Actually, it was yeah. 42 All seconds. Right. My girlfriend just broke up with me. I miss her like I miss my hymen. It hurts at first, but I'm, gl I'm glad it's, she's gone in the long run. Mm. Yeah. Call You're back gay. Then. You have 20 more seconds. <laughs> uh, I smoke cigarettes because I'm an organ donor, and I just want them to know that they're getting this shit used. 10 more. <laughs> no, okay, I think that's, that's enough. Um, Kelsey Lane, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Interesting. Uh, so... That was awful. <laughs> well, Brian... Good lord. You really wasted everybody's time, oh, all Jesus. these 70s people here 70s that actually people. tried. It's the 70s people. I mean, <laughs> all they these all elderly people. Uh, Kelsey, what's the story? How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, about a year and a half. Where at? All over. Oh, just in, L just in L.A. All over. All over town, yeah, but gotcha. just in Los Angeles. Yeah, all over. Heard of it, Tony? Oh, uh, I remember this character. This is the. Uh, this was the marching women. Uh, the, the, the. This was the marching women from a couple months ago. The uh, what are they called? Feminists, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is what I'm gonna say, like Kelsey did, in her song about yeah. you <laughs> attacking her. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Interesting. 
Two so. are the two women I hang out with to make me look better, so. Kelsey, Shut over. up, you bitch. <laughs> Kelsey, over here, over here. What do, you, uh, what do you do for work? How do you make a living? Um, I have my own live streaming web show during the day, and I... Uh, wait, 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 wait. What serve. was that? Yeah, he asked what you do for work. Cam yeah. girl. Yeah, I know. It's, it sounds like I'm a cam girl when I describe it like that, but it's uh, sonicbox.com. <laughs> what sonicbox? That was degrading to women, that song, Red Band. <laughs> You insinuated that she's a stripper, and all of us women don't appreciate it. And, the, and then at night, I await tables at Flappers. <laughs> flappers. <laughs> Brian Redband on the ones and twos. <laughs> Somehow, Flappers did sound uh, crazier than live streaming on Sonic Box during the day. Wow. Waitressing at Flappers. I mean, I just, wow. So you're watching like some of the worst uh, types of comedians just go up while waiting tables. Like that sounds like double nightmares. You know, so, you know, Flappers has a Burbank comedy festival and comedians. You can uh, apply. It's fifty dollars. It doesn't mean you're going to be on the show. Really? It's just randomized. That sounds great. Um, so uh, and there's also a Kickstarter oh, okay. to help them Brian, build a bathroom. Brian, Brian, there's a whole show going on over here. Brian, welcome back. It's a big laugh on the she's my cherry pie, and then he gets a little wacky with everything. Uh, the question is, <laughs> Red Band, what oh. did flappers do to you? Oh, there he goes. No. Uh, Kelsey, do you normally perform with the guitar? Um, yeah, typically. And do you normally do like songs and stuff? Yeah. Uh, original or parody? Uh, original. Original, like the one you just sang? Yes. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> How long is one of your songs? Short. I mean, I, really? I know, but, but like, is, wasn't there like a song you could have got to the chorus and then just tripped it right there, you know? I don't... I mean, I, yeah, I guess. But I, I was like, it's only going to be a minute, so two yeah, minutes like you did, minutes you did 13 seconds. Yeah, it was really I, short. Honestly, I thought it might have been longer. I don't know. Huh. That's what we always think, girl. <laughs> One of our favorite characters ever, feminist Jeremiah Watkins. What was it? Wait, what was the character's name? This is Daisy. Daisy. And uh, it's good to uh, see your friend again, the great Alanis Morissette. <laughs> she hasn't showered since last time either. Wow. Looks more like Howard Stern, really, this time. <laughs> it's almost impressive. Or Samara from The Ring. Interesting. So, Kelsey, uh... Can I just say one thing? We're yeah. one comic in, and they already have wigs on their head. So, um... Talk about shooting your load early. I mean... <laughs> I can wait till the 69th comic. What's gonna happen? You, <laughs> you would know, through. wouldn't you? I sure would. <laughs> I love it. Can I say something, Kelsey? I like that you do the guitar, because it's like a double threat. I think that's the way to go. But what do you lean towards more? The songs or the, uh, or the uh, jokes? I do both. I usually open with a song, do my stand-up jokes, and then end with a song. Oh, that's cool. All in 13 that's seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Always in 13-second increments. <laughs> do you have any like uh, special skills or talents or hobbies or anything like she that? She plays the guitar, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Does she? I mean, what we saw was uh, <laughs> not even an Can you really play or, or you can't? Yes. Let's hear something. Uh, okay. You want to hear one of my songs? Not the whole song, just like just the fact that you can play. <laughs> so oh. it's not, not like, we don't we don't want to hear your shine on crazy diamond, uh, your fourteen minute. Because that thirteen second thing, that was like you know you're waiting for the pot to get there and then it gets there and then it's like let's smoke a pot. That was like it. So right. let's just just like a touch, uh, a taste. Do you know Love Is a Battlefield? <laughs> no, an original. Do an original. Uh, here's a just the, play the thing that you think is going to impress us the most in the shortest period of time. <laughs> Perfect. Was like, uh, that was great. Let's do. Uh, this is a chorus to uh, one of my songs about being bisexual. I'm half gay. I'm not gay enough to be gay. I'm not straight enough to be straight. But I'm not straight gay enough to have my own parade. I'm half gay. That's great. Right.
fuck yeah. You can get both of those songs on iTunes. Uh, <laughs> you're really bisexual? Is that yes. Are you like 50-50? Do you lean more towards... How does 50, that work? 50-50, yeah. 50-50. It's always like a coin with you bisexuals, right? Oh, really? Is it Tony Hinchcliffe? <laughs> it has to be one way or the other. It can't just be 37% and 63%, huh? Huh? <laughs> Do you find yourself, uh, just out of curiosity, like, do you find yourself, like, always rotating the two? Do you usually go, like, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl? Or L like Cassie, day of the week? Cassie, you don't have to answer that, okay? <laughs> do, does the girls like your music and the guys don't? Does it depend on the moon? <laughs> wow, Red Band. Really? 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 Wow. Really? All right, all right, we get it. Right, save it for your blog. Uh, available at really, really, really dot com. Wow, interesting. So, uh, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. I didn't get an answer out of that. Is there a rotation? I, I think it depends on who's around. I you, guess you've been on like a streak lately at all, or you know anything like. Uh, I well, I just got out of a relationship with a female. So. Ooh, how long did that last? Uh, six months. Maybe? She break up or you? She broke up. I me. knew it. Yeah. <laughs> that is just mean. Wow. wow. That may have been That's one of mean. the meanest things I've ever seen done on this show. <laughs> I mean. knew it. Wow. Red Band. I mean, I did, we I all did sort of know it, though, in his defense. Like, it makes total sense. There was some guilt, though. Did you see his face? He was like... <laughs> when you'd go down on her, would you just do it for 13 seconds? And then be like, you totally came, right? Because... Well, the way that I do it, it wouldn't have to be longer. So. Is that true? Uh, no. Wow. Do you have what's your special technique? Can you teach us something here tonight? Do you put what? down the guitar? You what do you do? <laughs> oh no no. That's... Do, you, do you know what guitar does to women? No no no. You got it. You got it. Huh. Hmm. Wow. This is good. Yeah. It's interesting. We'll we'll talk later. I can. I'll give you some tips. Perfect. I think we should give her a hand, guys. What do you think? There there you go. Go. Yeah, there, there she goes. Go. Kelsey Lane, everybody. Tony. We just met Kelsey Lane. She's on Twitter at It's Kelsey Lane. Perfect. She stretched that into seven minutes, everybody. Can seven I? minutes of straight stand-up <laughs> comedy. Can I, can I ask the artist guy for a second? How do you draw an awkward pause like we just saw? <laughs> like a... <laughs> it's true. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Sam Lopez. Here it comes, Sam. Um, I have a rape fetish. <laughs> I haven't told my boyfriend because like, then it wouldn't be authentic, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think he knows, you know, like I've raped him five times this week. I think he knows what's up. I think he knows. We're very much in love. I'm trying not to have babies. I can't go on the pill because the hormones, they mess with my head. He can't wear condoms because he's black. It's just life is hard, you know? Like, what are we doing? Life is difficult. I've been cooking for my man because I don't want him to leave me. You know, that's what you got to do, ladies, if you don't want your man to run away. You know, they can't leave you if they're addicted to meth, right? It's like, <laughs> you know? It's like, I got you. I'm your trap queen. He's not going anywhere. Um, that wasn't a minute. Oh, cool. Wow, look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sam Lopez. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, it was a year this week. That was fucking that was amazing. Great. That was great. Congratulations. Fucking amazing. Really good. Awesome. Yeah. Good job, Sam. Way to go. Way to go. This is your first time on this show? Yeah. That's awesome. You've only been doing it a year, and you already have a Cosby sweater. I know. <laughs> it makes me feel unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Sam. You really do have a rape fetish, after all. <laughs> Where are you from, Sam? I'm from Baltimore. Ah. Oh, nice. You just visiting LA or? No, I live here now. Oh, cool. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm currently unemployed. 
What's what's the last job that you had? What? What's the last job that you I had? I was a barista. Oh. In Baltimore? No, here. Don't yeah, be I shy. Don't in Baltimore. No, I was a barista here. <laughs> don't be shy. The last person was a waitress at Flappers. So, uh, <laughs> a barista sounds like a dream job at this point. Thank you. Where were you baristaing at? I was baristaing downtown um, at La Pan Cotidienne. Oh. I probably shouldn't say that out loud. I don't know. Why? I just quit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. There you go. You know, I used to be a barista years ago. In fact, I met Dave Attell when I was baristaing at uh, Starbucks about nine years ago. I wouldn't call being a barista at Starbucks really fucking being a barista. Yeah, <laughs> barista. <laughs> I don't think so, dude. <laughs> when true. I first saw you, I thought you were a male prostitute. I didn't know. That's true. I mean, I was wearing a it's Starbucks like a apron. Cake. Breaking news, I'm a dirty hooker. Um, <laughs> Live on the Sunset Strip. <laughs> Sam, you got some good jokes. You, you're a joke writer, huh? You like that? I try. That's cool. You know? <laughs> yeah? I try. That's, no, no, I think you're doing great. Thank you. Those are some great jokes, man. Thanks. And is it a boyfriend true or is this an old boyfriend? No, it's true. Really? Wow. How long have you two been together? How strong is the relationship? Ooh. Uh, we've been together a year and we've lived together since like the second week. Ooh, wow. So it's not going Whoa. good. Yeah. You so your entire career you've been with this guy? Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> is he supportive or he doesn't get He's it? He's also a comic. Oh, he is. Oh, this is going to last. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 100%. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Are you moved funnier? In after, moved in after two weeks. Yeah. How we were that? both homeless before. Oh. oh. Are, are you funnier than him? No, 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 he's way funnier than Has him. Has he been doing comedy the same amount of time? He's been doing comedy like six years. Oh, so he ri writes everything for you? Oh, he writes everything for me. Yeah, Wait, he because Jesus she's a Brian. woman? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really, was, Red uh, Band? I'm with you on that one, uh, feminist Jeremiah. I'm with you. That was a naughty It's question. Daisy, thank you. inappropriate. <laughs> oh, hey, Daisy. <laughs> Interesting. So uh, that's fun, Sam. What else are you into? What, what do you do when you're not doing stand-up? Um, I like to roller skate. Roller skate. Wow, Go you're, on. you're unemployed as fuck. <laughs> that's like, I mean, that's like a ballsy thing to do when you don't have a job. I mean, when you're strapping on roller skates and, you know, sending the lace around your ankle that one time, really tightening it up. Yeah, that's the correct. Yeah. <laughs> that's ice skate music right there. Or wait, no. Put Where do you legs, roller skate? Please. Outdoors I or I an actual? I roller skating in a long time. I was home and I did a bunch of roller skating when I was there. At a Christmas. rink or outdoors? Oh, in... at a rink. For wow. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Never in public. Oh, no. you can. I like to roller skate. I don't have roller blades right now. Or I would be Roller blades aren't LA, the same. Roller blades with, aren't the same. You know, the weird like leg things. I would dress like this in roller. It's very roller skate attire. Mm hmm do you want the cartoonist to draw you with roller skates on or no? Yes, please. That's, cool. <laughs> That's how I want to be remembered. Forget my jokes. Since this is kind of a dead part of the show, I was wondering if Danny could turn up uh, the bassist's uh, bass guitar. Because it's off right now. There you go. I think you did awesome. Definitely that was really cool. Dead part now. When I was doing comedy a year into comedy, like I, I couldn't figure out like jokes yet. And so that's really cool that you like basically know how to do it and I think it's only gonna get way better so congratulations that's great yeah. absolutely so thanks like Ron any words for uh, any any parting words for Sam if this yeah 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 keep being true to your nature which you look like that's what you're doing so that's a big key to the whole fucking deal so uh, congratulations I think you're doing well too Thank there you go Thank Sam you. Lopez everybody you met her here on kill Tony she's on Instagram at the best Sam Lopez all one word All one word. Tony, did we cut that too short for you? Did you? Was there another sweater joke you wanted to get to? Or? No, no, it's just that one that I did. <laughs> just, oh, there you go. Looks like Brian had that sound effect ready to go. <laughs> the word one. Um, I pulled another name out of the box. You guys having fun or what, huh? I think they're fans. <laughs> no, I, this is the fan base, man. You. This is your fans. This is it. This is people love a good free show. Is it free? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I love it. We Give just, it up for Groupon, everybody, huh? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Well, you really wouldn't need Groupon if it was free. 
<laughs> but I pulled an this, this is what I thought this was going to be like. I thought it was just going to be me and you at a table, and you're going, So, Ron, tell us all about comedy. You no. Know? Blah, 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 blah. But instead, you oh, get this. Instead, you just get to chill, and we'll just watch and Here, man. have fun. Okay, I'm okay. in. I'm in. I'm totally fucking in. Put your hands together for your next comedian doing an uninterrupted. It's not going to say anything mean to anybody. They just started doing stand up. Jesus well, Christ. No, but that's Tony's kink. Like shit, right? <laughs> that's what I get off on. I can't. Right. I, I Tony. Can't. Tony's dream is to take a shit on a unicorn. That's his. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Darren Eisner. Darren. I don't see any movement. Okay. Oh. Um, excuse me, Tony. This music is offensive to women. <laughs> I think uh, bitches is used as a compliment from uh, some cultures. Bad bitches, I think, is a good thing. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Rafael Molina. Wow. Here he comes from deep in the bath. It's a long walk. This way. Rafael Molina. I like this guy already. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I go, people look at me and wonder, right? Is that a Mexican or a terrorist? <laughs> I wish I worked for ISIS. That means I would work for the United States government. <laughs> wow. It's a job with benefits. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but I'm neither of those. I'm a proud American. All right, I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> USA, baby. Now, I know, I'm a, I know I'm an American because I love to overindulge, and whenever I need anything done around my house, I pay Mexicans to do it. I have great uncles. Yeah. Screw Angie's list, she's expensive. Yeah, my uncles are affordable, and they're cool. They'll do any job for $20 and a 30-pack of Bud Light. Best thing, about the, the best thing about it is that before the job's done, they share the Bud Light so work turns into a party. Fuck yeah. I don't think we're ever going to finish that wall, Mr. Trump. Fuck yeah. Rafael Molina, ladies and that gentlemen. That was great. Yeah. Woo. That was fun. Nice one. Magical. I feel like you just appeared when Ron popped the top off this bottle of tequila. <laughs> right? That was delicious. You're, genie. You're, 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 you're the genie that comes out of a tequila <laughs> bottle. Hey, Fuck what's yeah. up? <laughs> <laughs> You want some wishes? <laughs> Tony, Tony, I don't know what it is, but I like something about this guy. <laughs> Joel Jimenez, eating for his own kind. Um, what just? What you guys? Wait, what just happened over there? Well, it's good to see you, Tony. Oh, Whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> Someone called that. Ice. Country. When did we get an engine on the stage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old, the old timey. You guys are from the past, right? From Westworld. Oh yeah. That's not that. How uh, long have you been doing comedy, man? Uh, four years. And how long have you been growing that beard? <laughs> Half a year. That's weird. I've never seen a Latino guy with that kind of a beard, dude. Yeah, right? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. No, yeah. Pretty, pretty sure, man. From Mexico. Family's <laughs> Mexican. Did you grow the beard just for that terrorist joke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did. It's been killing it everywhere. <laughs> you look like the guy in the Western who, like, shows you the wrong way to the gold mine. Like... <laughs> I thought I'd go through Apache territory. <laughs> you gotta love this crowd. They give just yeah, enough. Right? Yeah. Hey, thank, um, thank you guys. You guys are great. <laughs> so, dude, uh, are you uh, you're an LA guy, right? Uh, no, I uh, Texas. Oh, what part? Ron's from uh, Texas. Yeah. Uh, yeah, El Paso. Oh, there you oh, go. I Ron? think that's a uh, coach. I, for I was just there not very long <laughs> ago, and it was uh, uh, dusty. Dusty, yeah, dusty, dusty. <laughs> but I, I, but I, you know, I, my, my in-laws are all from Mexico, and yeah. uh, and uh, El Paso, I know, is very, very close to Mexico. Yeah, hell yeah, man! You're, I, you were the first comic I ever saw live in El Paso. Me? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's pretty, pretty fucking dope, man. Well, I think you're gonna go a long way, son. <laughs> <laughs> 
Were you in the show or were you out in the lot? Were you watching? What were you doing there? (laughs) Before I even did comedy, man, I was just watching. It was was amazing. He was at the border watching with binoculars. (laughs) (laughs) I I already made it through, bro. (laughs) Is it hard doing comedy when you're also one of the relief pitchers for the Mets? I mean... (laughs) I don't get that reference, but I understand why it's funny. (laughs) Raphael, what do you do for a living? Whoa, Um, look who became a host. Hey, Tony. (laughs) (laughs) What's wrong? I've been doing it the whole time. Just letting everybody get their uh, kill shots in. What What do you do for work? Uh, I, right now, I'm, I have a shitty job, uh, telemarketing. Uh, I hate myself, too. For what? What are you telemarketing for? What's the calls that you're making? I am a bullshit-ass construction company. Yeah, just oh, nice. Wow. That's, I, I even in the telemarketing people. business, you're so Mexican that you're still doing <laughs> construction work. That's incredible. That's inappropriate. Dude, Mexican telemarketing, <laughs> building houses and shit. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. I've been doing stand up for 30 years, and, and to, to get to, uh, to to start off in a town like uh, El Paso, Texas, and, and to get on this stage is a big fucking accomplishment, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's not like being born Thank here. It's not like bro. being born Thank into you, it. Fuck no, it isn't. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And I'd like for you to taste my tequila right oh, here. Fuck yeah, it's called yeah. number one wow. tequila. Wow, look at that. Like a salute comedy store to many more, man. Wow, there you go. Now it's a show. Fuck yeah. A lot of people don't know this, but Raphael has been up until this point was sober for the last 10 years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Throw it off the wall, man. Tonight's the night. I love it. Anything else, Raphael? Uh, shit, thank you guys very much, man. I hope I do more of this shit, man. Yeah, no, I you're love comedy, it. dude. But- that's what I want to eat off of, so thank you guys very much. There Hope you go. <laughs> Rafael Molina! Ay, 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 ay. There he oh, goes. Rafael's a good guy. Rafael Molina. What a lovely bad, day. Huh? Very cool. Woo! Doggy. In, in, the, in the front row, we should say that uh, if you listen to Kill Tony San Francisco. One of my favorite yeah. episodes of all time. And she did so great on there. The What's great, uh, the great Dana, everybody from uh, Dana. San Francisco episode. Yeah, fuck yeah. This woman is terrifying. <laughs> She's got a lot of energy. She's a real wackadoodle. Just relax, Dana. I don't know why Red Band would give you that shout out, but because uh, he loves starting fires, this guy. All right. I, you know what, Ron, let me ask you something. Every time somebody's on for the first time, I always ask them a question. Was there ever anything you did when you very first started stand-up comedy that, like, you can't believe you did or, like, just went terribly yeah, wrong? Yeah, I did. I, I, I had this, uh, I had a sweatshirt made that said <laughs> Bob's Burger Gym, and it had a, a guy lifting weights and it had hamburgers on the weights. And I really... <laughs> was so convinced that that was a part, integral part of my comedy routine, oh. that I wear it, wore it well into the summer, <laughs> and, uh, and it was in Texas, and it was hot, and then finally the other more experienced comics go, Ron, the sweatshirt. You don't even do a joke about it. Why don't you change clothes and move on to the next part of your career? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's something I remember. Wow. Do you still have that shirt, or do you have a picture of it? You should reprint those. I have That'd a be... tattoo of it on my dick. Oh. <laughs> I'll see it later, huh? <laughs> Get, bring the tequila. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Mike Diaz. Mike Diaz, everyone. Big fan of conspiracy theories. Uh, my favorite conspiracy theory right now is that um, Hillary Clinton and her Democratic Party are all pedophiles. Now, it bums me out that it's just a theory because, I mean, think about it, dude. Like, Socrates, right? Homer. Th- these are all people who fucked boys. And I think that there's knowledge in the boy pussy that we're uh, it's untapped right now. It's untapped knowledge in the boy pussy. <laughs> And and I don't know. I'm gonna have to start doing research. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Um, but some people have been saying, you know, they've been telling me, is it uh, maybe it's just maybe it's old boy pussy. Maybe new boy pussy is just not the same, right? And if that's the case, then I want to know why my uncle is the smartest man I know right now. 
Um, <laughs> I, um, I used to have really long hair, and... Um, all right, never mind. <laughs> Finish it. You used to have really right. long hair and what? Yeah, I, I want to hear really it. long hair. My mom always told me to do 100 strokes before bed every night. And after a couple of years, I finally got through all 100 strokes without finishing. So, thank you. There you go. Mike Diaz, ladies and gentlemen. To Tony, can I say something real quick? Yeah. This boy is damn disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, there's something, that was a very creepy set. There's something, you remind me of like a guy that would be a school shooter, but you would jerk off the kids before shooting up the school. Something, yeah, that's the proper music for that. I didn't think I'd want to say something shitty to somebody just start doing stand-up, but I've changed my mind. That was it. Perfect. Uh, you suck, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's fair at all. I think it's hard in a minute to like lay down a conspiracy theory, you know, without yeah. the no, yeah, help of ecstasy. But yeah. I, uh, I think you should have started with the hair joke first, and then gotten into your. Uh, big I, bit. I did the joke. I was doing it too fast, so it should have been. It should have been a minute, but then I did it a little too quick. So I, I understand. Oh well, I mean, like I don't know. I think if it had been slower, it would have been worse. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> that is not a good. <laughs> Mike Diaz. How long have you been doing stand-up? Um, I think now is like eight months. Eight months. And where are you from? Um, a little like northeast of here. Northeast of here. Yeah, like two hours away. It's, not, it's still Southern California. So. What's it called? Apple Valley. No one's probably. Apple there. Valley. I know it very well. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, that's where Slenderman summers. Am I right or no? Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a summer house up there. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so you came down here to be a comic, huh? huh? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. There you go. Did you ever perform in Apple Valley? Uh, I did a couple of shows before I moved out here, yeah. Nice he shows was that Should have done three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, you know what? But let me say this in yeah. all seriousness. Yeah. Doing stand-up for eight months is the same as doing it for one day. I mean, that's a brand new comedian out here with balls enough to come out here yeah. and try some different fucking humor. And uh, so I'm just busting on your chops trying to get a laugh myself. <laughs> but for eight months in the fucking business, you're out here doing punchlines, dude. So yeah. way to go. Good on you. Good on you. Good on Do you me. believe in Pizzagate? Um, I'm on the fence right now. Why? You, you look, you look like you Why? deliver Pizzagate. Pizza yeah. <laughs> How do you get all these conspiracy theories? How do you do it? Like on the web or just the web? Mostly, uh, yeah. Joe Rogan's podcast. Uh. <laughs> Joe Rogan does not believe in Pizzagate. Well, I don't. Well, I don't believe it. I mean, he talks about conspiracies. Yeah. So I mean, that's why I hear about. Do you her. believe in chemtrails and all that stuff? No. Do you believe in Tower Seven? Okay, Brian, that's enough. Jesus. Um, Do you believe in God, boy? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good question. Do you? I think you were kicked out of Apple Cove or whatever the fuck town you were yeah. for being a heretic. Okay. <laughs> you look like the bouncer out of Barnes and Noble to me. But, uh, <laughs> sorry for throwing a hard punchline here, Tony. Go ahead. How, how old Take are you? Back to sad. How old am I? Twenty-one. Take it back. Twenty-one. To sad. Wow. <laughs> Twenty-one. What do you do for work? Uh, drive for Lyft. You drive Lyft. Yeah. Anything interesting ever happen in your car? What kind of car do you have? Uh, Yaris. Yaris. Oh my god. Yeah. You Wait, you're you a driver? Really? They let you dress like that now? <laughs> Fuck no. You gotta wear a suit, right? No, for Lyft, you don't. No, it's really casual. <laughs> yeah. See, anyone, everyone out here. Does. Let's yeah. ask the biggest fan. Would you get in the car with this guy or no? Yeah. Yeah, she would. Yeah. Right. I have a 4.8, so I mean. 4.8 is good. Yeah, good. Wow. Enough. This is like a reenactment of a broken home right now. All right. <laughs> You anything, get to pick. anything crazy ever happen in your car? Um, no, not really. Someone just people have asked me for drugs. That's about it. Hmm. Interesting. We've talked to you about this before, haven't we? Yeah. 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 Right. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Um, that's interesting. Because you sort of you sort of look like Mar I can picture you driving because you look like Wario on Mario Kart a little bit. I'm Wario's so way fatter. I'll take Luigi, but I don't I don't know about. I don't know. Luigi, the, the gay ex, one. You pretty much have the exact sure. hat as Wario. Sure. Very here, didn't it? Luigi, interesting <laughs> choice. It's, it's, it's the same. The Robin of his. What Batman. a nerd bashing! Uh -huh. right? I, I consider myself more of a Robin. You guys should. Well. You guys should spin an EpiPen and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs>
Good job, dude. It's balls to come up here. Welcome to the show. Yeah, it doesn't it. go said enough. Exactly. There he goes, Mike Diaz. Uh, it doesn't get said enough that the people that sign up for this show are ballsier than anybody. No okay. tequila shot, but still, you know, I think he did a great job. So the eight months. Tough but fair. Eight months. Eight months in. Crazy. Right. It's like he's jogging at eight months old. <laughs> All right, Very we've seen rare. this name before. Very rare. I pulled a new name out of the bucket. The name is Ramsey Bottaway. Ramsey Bottaway. Here. Jesus. Good God. That's a Craigslist name if I've ever heard one. I mean, really. Are these real names? Yeah. Yeah. How about uh, Mikey McKernan? Oh, Mikey. Ooh, the crowd. We got a pop on this one. What is that name? The crowd goes wild for Mikey McKernan. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Mikey McKernan. I look like a guy who smokes all his friends' weed. My friend's like, yeah, Mikey, he's OG. Out of ganja, boo. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't like it when people ask me annoying questions. I think the most annoying question is, do you have any hidden talents? Yeah, I know how to make paint dry faster. <laughs> All right, some of you guys are not into dry humor. Bo, ha, ha. <laughs> uh. Comics, you ever written a bad joke? And then you try to cross it out and then you run out of ink. And then you're like, wow, I'm gonna convince myself it's a good joke. And then you suck at comedy. It's great to be here. Thank you. Powerful Mikey McKernan, I love that. Huh? Right? Should have ended strong. That was fun. You are one Thank of the you. funniest young Vietnam veterans we've ever had on the show. That was a good time. Really, really impressive. You have a, what, you're an interesting, uh, in how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, it's going to be nine years, March 21st. Yeah. Right. Awesome. That's right around the corner. Nine years. Yep. What do you, like, uh, you do anything cool in the nine years? Um, to be honest, being on this show. No way. That's great. Being on the main room. Can well, I you give you guys one of my stickers, how I promote my comedy? Yeah. It says, it says Mikey McKernan is not funny. For those who didn't laugh, you can't have one. I actually had Mikey Thanks, on Mike. uh, the Death Squad show after his last performance. Yeah, thank you. That and, was uh, fucking amazing. He killed amazing. it on there, too. How much yeah. are they? I give them out for free. Ron, you want one? There's your problem, dude. You need a better business model. <laughs> this is what my parents told me. <laughs> it's like a really bad episode of Shark one? Tank. <laughs> <laughs> I just give them away, dude. I don't know why I'm broke living in my mom's basement. I had stickers and t-shirts before I was doing stand-up, and uh, it was time. What do, you, uh, what do you do for a living? Work at Bubba Gump's. Nice. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we you talked play, about this last time. You play Lieutenant Dan? <laughs> <laughs> no, I That was a good Halloween costume one year. You just went around in a wheelchair? Yeah, well, I work at City Walk, and I dressed up as Kenny G one year. Ooh. And there's a guy up there who does a saxophone, and everybody didn't get Kenny G, and they thought I was him. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You look more like a, Oh, well, you guys going to go? Song? <laughs> you look like the kind of guy who knows everything about the Wonderland murders. You know? <laughs> I've never seen that movie. I don't watch porn. That's 10 years in. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> You're definitely a crowd favorite. Can I hit that? Is that too... Must ask. Yeah, you're right. Coffee's for closers, dude. <laughs> Do you, uh. Thank you, Ron. Nice. Now it's the show. Dreams coming true on Kill Tony 200. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Oh, you think that's what she's going to be disappointed in? Uh, uh, nice one, Tony. 
what else do you do? You seem like such a cool character. Um, right now, I'm actually getting in with some guys on Instagram who run the Jumbotron at the Honda Center for the Anaheim Ducks game. Fuck I am yeah. a whore for being on the Jumbotron at hockey games. Oh, I bet you're great on that. What are what are some of your moves? I wear a, I wear a jersey and I put my arm. I wish I fucking had the jersey. <laughs> I put my hands up in the jersey like this and it makes me look very intimidating. <laughs> wow. Uh, hey, Tony, so... is this boy what y'all call retarded these days? <laughs> What's something we would be surprised to know about you? Like, what, for some reason, I feel like there's something, in, like, you're like a public notary or something like that. Or uh... Do you still have a day job, man, or no? Uh, waiting oh, tables, yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Um, and what do you do there? Are you the saucier? Or slang or... shrimp. Oh, yeah? Do, do Forrest Gump trivia. Let's hear one. Let's, wait, you did one last time. Let's do a new one. Oh, let's, no. let's play did, Forrest the, Gump trivia. That was the best one. Should I just tell it again? Yeah. yeah. All right, what two drugs do we see Jenny take in the movie? Just shout them out. We see her take Coke. Acid. Now, when she was feeling suicidal, what was she on? A ledge. <laughs> that, was, that was Mikey hitting that rim shot, by the way, if you're wondering. He turned around for that. Podcast listeners. Kills uh, with the families. That's so fun. Mikey, what's your love life like? Uh, four years. Last weekend with my girlfriend. <laughs> no, that's, that's a different one. Oh, Jay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you slinging that shrimp to her, too? You know yeah. I mean? She likes that size. <laughs> Four <laughs> years. What does she do? Uh, she's a student. Yeah. That's it. What is she studying? Anthropology. What grade? Wow. Yeah, that's a... yeah we got a future. <laughs> You guys are good for each other since you attract cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> nope, this school's out, everybody. Mikey, interesting. Anything? I mean, you seem like such a character. I feel like I could talk to you forever. No, yeah, that's that's it. I mean, oh, that's it. That's Perfect. I'm pretty right, interesting. I guess. The most interesting man. No, I really like to talk about hockey with a lot of people. You know, when you talk about things you fucking love, other than stand-up tragedy. You That's why I got such a good response from the homies over there. You love ho you love hockey. Yeah, I grew up playing ice hockey in Southern California. My Do whole you life. still ice skate? I don't I, when I can, but I don't play hockey anymore. When you you know you move around in these towns, you don't have I much just space. Just not picture you like skating backward. Maybe with like a knife in your hand or something like that. I can picture you like uh, skating. You let me. No, but, use the blade. Oh, exactly. That'd be your move. Yeah, if I can do those roundhouse kicks on the ice. Some guy just got it. Adam McQuaid just got a skate in the neck. 25 stitches. Still went back in the game. Wow. Yeah, they're... Uh... That's an extreme... Will Ferrell was in that movie, right? <laughs> it's such a... It's... It's... That's great. 25 I that. stitches. I remember that. It's such an intense sport that you almost forget that they skate backwards all the time. All the time. And they lie about being hurt. Who do you think you're more like, Ben or Jerry? Who uh, do you think? Jerry. Uh -oh. His Jack real Nugent. name is Gerald. Is it really? Well, right? I mean, he, Jerry's short for something. You seem like the kind of guy who has a lot of information about shit that never gets you laid. Like that no. kind of like... Talk to my girlfriend. I battle all the time. You what all the time? Try to battle for... Trivia. Oh. You don't get you don't get laid as much as you'd like to? No. You don't ever come home from Bubba Gump smelling like someone that just came home from working from Bubba Gump? No, we don't live together, fortunately. Oh, you don't? No. You live by yourself? No, I got two other roommates. Comedians? No, they went to Cal Arts trying to be actors. Ooh. No, they're good actors. I shouldn't say that. Yeah, they are. They have roommates. <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking Academy Award winning actors. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mikey, you absolutely killed. Thank you guys so, so much. So Good funny. night. There he goes, Mikey right, McKernan. He's on Twitter at Mikey McKernan. M I K E Y M C K E R N A N. Mikey McKernan. Huh? What? Who? Huh? Huh? I love that shit. When it's done right, when timing is good, that fucking shit's funny, right? Okie dokie. Hey, what's that character? I don't recognize. Oh, shit.
ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States of America and the uh, what would you, former Secretary of State. Well, what a loser title she gets, huh? That's a, Thank you so okay, much. Okay, here, here they are, you. ladies and gentlemen. Trump and uh, Hillary. It's an honor to be here, Tony, on your 200th episode. Just great, great, great. It's going to be a huge episode, huge ratings. David Tell, Ron White, love these guys. Wow. Thank you. Donald, welcome to the show. Um, how's, uh, how's things been going? Well, I, I'm surprised, you know, I read a thing the other day that you've been, like, golfing so many times. I'm surprised that you were able to fit it in your schedule uh, with so much shit going on. <laughs> Being on a... Man, Hillary's really let herself go, right? I mean, she really took that loss hard. Hillary's always looked this disgusting, Tony. Wow. Well, I'm excited about things. What is that thing that you guys are playing? Is that some presidential thing that I don't know about? Or? Yes. Okie dokie. Mm, yeah. Wow. Oh, shit. Here we go. Thick. Black magic marker, always a always an indicator of something exciting to come. Uh, with musical notes next to the name, I present to you, so perfect for episode 200, one of our favorites, the great Aphrodite! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Donald Trump, you might want to turn away. Hi. <laughs> you know, I, I want to congratulate you on your 200th episode. And <laughs> this is what I want to talk about is that, you know, God is really wrong. God is wrong. Everybody says God is good, but God is wrong. Let me tell you. Look at all this. I can't even get a job. <laughs> Nobody thinks I can type. They look at my chest and they look at my ass and they go, next. <laughs> Nobody believes it. You know, I saw this one lady, she ran up here and when her name got called, I can't run up steps, my ass will pull me right back down. <laughs> you know, I treasure things like that. When I see people running, I go, oh God, look at that. You know, any chance that I can do that, the world will probably stop and everybody will fall in the same hole with me with the big ass and everything. Uh, ladies, don't go get the big ass. You don't know the problems that you're gonna have. I can't go anywhere, I'm 61 years old and people are running up goosing my ass. <laughs> That's the last thing I thought would happen when I'm 61, almost 62 years old. People come up and go, is that real? What the fuck do they think it is? So how many black women do you see running around here like that? Fuck yeah, Aphrodite, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Fuck yes. What is that sound? <laughs> Why are you hitting that? It's what a goose. She was, somebody was goosing her ass. All the time. Even the women are goosing my ass. I'm like, what is going on? I've never it's, it's called grabbing by the pussy, Tony. Oh. <laughs> you it's have to real. Have... Get over it. Shit. Man, it really, it really is something special. For you podcast listeners, the only way I could really describe this ass is it looks like somebody who's worn a diaper and j kept it on for two months without changing it. Uh -oh, just let it get no, filled no, all no, the way extended. No, in the back. This looks is, like it has two months of shit hanging no, off the back of it. this is real ass. 100% USD motherfucking it's a pretty ass. pretty good description, okay. right? A two months worth of poop load? I mean, it is an amazing ass. Your, even your ass has two Afro puffs. <laughs> <laughs> it won't fit in the office chair. They tried. I had to have two fucking seats, man. Who's got that poopy what? diaper? Two seats. On what? The Greyhound? No, yeah, that too. <laughs> they overcharge me on every damn thing because of my ass. You know what we should do is get Mikey back up here and do a 70s drug deal. Oh. Yeah, really... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no, player. He couldn't afford me. Get out of here, Snowflake. He couldn't afford me, baby. I'm a one-time hoe, okay? One motherfucking wow. time. 70s drug deal. Hey, I'm from the, the right 70s. Way. What were you doing in the 70s, Aphrodite? What oh, were you up man. to back then? Having a great time with music, because music was real back then. Not just sure. lip sync and shit, you know. They would kill you in the hood. You come up there <laughs> fucking around on stage if you want to. Black people don't play that shit. See, the white people give you a nice golf clap and shit. <laughs> Not the black people. They gonna kick your ass. You fuck up their song, they gonna kick your ass. <laughs> if you lip sync... They kill you? They would kill you back in the day. Wow. They would fucking kill you, seriously. Oh, there's a pit bull. Look out. And they wouldn't just boo you. They would throw eggs, tomatoes, and potatoes is at the, your ass. Is that why yeah. they killed Tupac and Biggie? I don't know, man. They probably got hit with some hard cornbread or some shit like that. 
I don't know. Donald Trump, what do you think about this situation? Uh, killing white people, it's uh, one of my big issues with the blacks. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, all wow. right, all right. CNN is going to be they reporting gonna that. Donald, Donald, Donald going to get fucked up. He going to slip on some hot chicken wings or something. Somebody going to fuck him up. Watch. What'd you say? I said somebody going to fuck Donald Trump up. Somebody's going to fuck Somebody him up. Somebody going to fuck him up with some hot chicken wings. One of the brothers going to get to him. Watch and see. What do you mean? You can get chicken wings in Trump People Tower. People like we that serve, dude, man. Uh, beautiful chicken wings in Trump Tower. The finest chicken wings they for the black They're going to burn your ass up with some hot them. chicken wings, motherfucker. Aphrodite, Aphrodite, over here. What do you mean they're going to fuck him up with chicken wings? I specifically have to know what the fuck you mean when you say that. Because they want the brother back in the house. That's not how it works, Aphrodite. <laughs> If something happens, Aphrodite is so Aphrodite is literally so black that uh, she is under. Is I she, faded to black. Can't y'all y'all can't see me? See, I faded on you. Wow, that was impressive. I don't know what just wow, happened. Wow, I don't even need to say anything on that one. That's right, man. You shouldn't be in office, dude. You fucked up. Now, wow. wouldn't it be cool if you also work at Bubba Gump? I mean, do you or don't? Oh, oh man. They, they would love what I do. I can cook pretty good, though. She's got some of that Bubba Dump. You That's know what right. I mean? Oh, shit. See, I would drop it like it's hot. I bet you would. Uh, I, be, I bet you would drop it like it's That's literally. Right. Your jokes were strong, and please you, drop it like you it's took not. the stage, man. I love it. You oh, really I did. love this you, too, baby. Stage. That's very Come cool. Come pay some risk, sweetheart. I love Let's you so it. much. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, oh, shit. What's about to happen here? Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, he's too little. He's too little. He's too little. He's too oh. little. And there oh, he goes. That was the total eclipse of David Tell right little. there. Uh, oh, <laughs> David Tell is still on, with us. He's too little. I'm Mr. I think Brothers I'm pregnant. Already. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just want you to know that I already had this erection before we started this. That's great. Man, like the joint again. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But my catheter fell out. <laughs> and uh, I know something poked the shit out of me. I'm used to the big dicks. I can't, you know, I can't go for that secondhand shit. You man. could actually, that, that's interesting. So you have like full feeling. You have full sensation of yeah, your butt. Yeah, yeah it's real. Like, yeah, if, yeah. if we tested like with needles, you that's would right. feel... Every I keep telling y'all, I, I work out. I really work out a lot. I'm, I, I'm one of these fat people that works out. See, y'all been thinking too long. I believe fat it. People don't work it's out. a beautiful I show you booty. One of my exercise. See, here you go. One, two, three, four, nice. five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine. See, I work out and I eat fried chicken when I'm done. See. It looks wow. like you're giving directions with your ass. That's you're right. Really... <laughs> That's right. We talk about and that zing, dead old GPS and thing, and right? with your nose. <laughs> That's quite a rock right there. That's the right, baby. Right there, Only is. grown folks can handle all this. <laughs> I don't know. Damn. No boys allowed. <laughs> wow, we need subtitles so badly for you. I see it, motherfucker! Oh, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> That's the voice I hear every time a black person opens their mouth. Oh hey, my man. God! Wow. President I've been Trump. Shit about black people, man. President Trump. Well, whoop your ass as soon as the revolution starts, man. I'll whoop your ass real good. Okay? Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. What do you think, Hillary? What do you think about the way President Trump is talking to Aphrodite? Aphrodite, hold on a second. I wish you had a goddamn mute button. Um, Hillary, don't, don't Hillary. Don't we all, Tony? Did, did, did Hillary? Does Hillary not even speak anymore? Is she? She's a loser. She's a fat <laughs> idiot loser. She doesn't deserve to talk anymore, Tony. She lost the greatest man on earth in a fair and square. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. Any rebuttal, you dumb bitch? <laughs> wow. It's so heated in here. Damn. I almost can't believe that that's the same guy that was the feminist earlier. That's what I thought. Trump 2020. Oh, all right. Oh. Wow. All Look right. Look at well, Hillary. He needs an Afro real bad. <laughs> all right, Aphrodite. Um, has there been anything else that's happened in your real life recently that uh, that you want that's worth mentioning? Anything interesting happened? Did you do that big performance? No, not yet. Not like, yet. We did the New Year's Eve. We did the Ford Theater, but now we're working on the tour material because this group is known by. Why don't you give, the, give these people another ten-second example of what your singing is like? Okay. Just get into it. There you go, Aphrodite. Oh, hey, we're working real hard on the loving, baby. Oh. It's gonna be real good tonight with you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, darling, give it 
to me right now. Oh yeah, come on now, it's good in a. Wow. Aphrodite, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, there she goes, Aphrodite. Yeah. Put your hands together for the great Aphrodite. That was a little freestyle. The great Aphrodite, ladies and gentlemen. Even I can admit the blacks are talented. That was beautiful. Wow, President Trump. Joel, what are you when they're Hillary and Trump? I'm just Mexican. Oh. <laughs> just that's why he's far away from me, as far as possible, Tony. Not even acknowledging his presence, he's just behind me. Like a cockroach. Too real. Breaking news, Joel Jimenez has a microphone for the first time ever. Oh, we yeah. just noticed that. We thought it was worth mentioning. Maybe that Yeah! Was, uh, look at that. Powerful upgrades on Thanks. episode 200. I just noticed Pat and Jeremiah looking over, noticing it at the same time. Competitively. <laughs> Pat's almost. still not ready. Still. Well, how come we don't have our own microphone? How come we have to share a microphone? Well, well Joel's been <laughs> kick knocking it out of the park lately. Yeah. I mean, the one he, the one episode he has a microphone, he hasn't said shit, but... Uh, I'm trying to play, you know, my my parts when it's well, when it happens. He's got beats. He's a team, team player. Love him. What was that, Trump? He's a team player. You gotta love him. Absolutely. Despite the skin color, you gotta love him. <sighs> All right, let's pull out another name. Put your hands together for Michael D'Angelo. Oh shit! Kill Tony. Guess what, guys? Today is my little sister's 18th birthday. Fuck yeah. Yeah, man. She's got Down syndrome, so she doesn't have a lot of friends. And when my buddy came to pick me up to come down here tonight, <clears throat> he brought flowers. I was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, these are not for you, dude. I was like, oh. And he came in, he gave to her. She was so fucking happy. And then he drove us both down here. And now I'm pretty sure they're fucking in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. He was so nervous. I was like, relax, man. She's down. <laughs> Plastic surgery's getting out of hand. Saw a girl with no nose today. No nose. Yeah, like everything was okay. Like everything was just cool. Total cunt, too. I walked up to her, tried to ask her, like, where'd you get your work done? She was like, Kuh. I was like, wow, you're a bitch. <laughs> Let that one sink in. <laughs> My seven year old niece shot herself in the head. <laughs> She didn't die though. I just think it's funny because she used to hate vegetables, but now. Boom, Michael D'Angelo, pure evil. Look at you. Hello. Yeah, really. Tony, he's one of your guys, man. Yeah, I know, he's right? This is it. It's part of the minion. Yeah. Michael, how long have you been doing stand up? About uh, three years. Wow. Your seven year old niece shot herself in the head. At least she didn't have to have you for an uncle anymore. Whoa. No, she's still wow. alive. She didn't die. She didn't Is die. Is that really true? No. 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 None of that's true. <laughs> you don't have uh, a sister. No, no shit. That was real. Really? Really? No. No. Oh, no. Okay. Well, all right. Gotcha. No. Uh, so, like, how, how long have you been doing it again? Three, three years. Three Where are you from? Vegas. Vegas. Dude, dude. nice, dude. Oh, wow. The, uh, Fred uh, Durst, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. I awesome. I like this dude because he's a douchebag just like us. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just visiting from Vegas? Yeah, just uh, just visiting, um, spending time out here at the comedy store, man, at Mecca. That's Vegas. where you started, right? Vegas? Yes. That's a hard town to start, man. That's yeah. It's really hard. It's yeah. a hard town to... That's why, yeah, it's, it's a lot of real divey out there. Yeah. Real hard to grow. Definitely. Um, do you come to LA often? Uh, I try to come out here once a week. What do you do for work uh -huh. in Vegas? Uh, debt collector. Really? Oh, nice. Wow. Dude, that's not chill, bro. <laughs> like, what kind of debts are you collecting? Big ones. For like what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't like me to like talk about for what exactly, but it's usually under the table stuff. That's some interesting shit. Look do you ever that. go um, open the door? I'll tell that Down syndrome joke. <laughs> 
open. <laughs> no, no, but I did collect a debt from a guy with Down syndrome, and he was not fucking happy. <laughs> They're really strong, dude. <laughs> dude, hell yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eyesight is fucking perfect, contrary to. <laughs> What are some more types of uh, terrible people that you like to make fun contrary of? Contrary to what? Dude, he just learned what the word contrary means. Yeah. yeah. I uh, like his act because it had a lot to do about family. Yeah. And I think... <laughs> yes. How long have you been debt collecting for? Is that, today? Is, is that what did you wanted to be when you grew up? Like, what did no, you want no, to be? No, 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 I did not want to be a dad. What, what did you want to be? What was your main At dad? what age, man? Doesn't everybody like uh, that? Let's say change? high school. Dude, I used to want to be a vag collector, then I grew vag. up. <laughs> what did you want to be when, when you grew up and you were a little I don't, kid? I don't remember. I don't remember. You don't remember? No, I don't remember. I don't, you, you, a lot I don't think I was thinking about that kind of shit. I never, like, I didn't think I'd live this long, you know? Wow. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's poetic, bro. Yeah. <laughs> why is that? Why Why do you think yeah, that you, is. why is that? Why do you think you weren't going to live that long? It's rough life, man. Rough is life. that true? Yeah. You want to talk, you want to talk about any of it? Sure. Like mm -hmm. what? What was rough about your life? Uh, How'd you get that scar? Come on, tell us. That's what we want to know. Yeah. Thank that, God. It's, I couldn't uh, wait for somebody to ask. It's Jesus. actually a birthmark. Wow, I, uh, I thought you were a fencer. I thought you were an Olympic ass, fencer. Dude. No, I'm just kidding. That's fucking badass. No, it's, it's not a birthmark. What is it? It's it's a scar. I, uh, oh, I, your mom uh, changed her I mind. got huh? cut in the face, you know? <laughs> you know those old school, like, straight razors? The, the fucking the old cowboy looking barbershop? Yeah, man. Big fucking neon yellow handle. Who do we? Tell us more. We I, need more to this. Story. Man, black people cool. are fucking fast hands, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, I still like them and shit. I'm just saying, like, I had a rock in my hand. I was like, man, I'm gonna hit this guy with this rock. But I'm already like a slow white dude, you know. Like, you need to have like speed in your hands when you fight a black guy because they're fucking, they're quick. Ryan, I didn't know. Come on, like they're not fast, quick, man. If, if you fought a black guy, you know what I'm talking about. Dude, where did uh, have you guys fought a black guy before? It's, it's fucking amazing. It's freaking like, dude. It's like. Dude, it's freaking rough. They're freaking fat. Dude, their genetics are better than ours, dude. They're freaking well, fat. Have I you mean, seen the NBA? <laughs> where did this happen at? Where did this rock versus uh? uh where did this? Uh, li where did this literal game of uh, in, in rock Vegas, paper scissors in Vegas? Happen? But I, I was actually, believe it or not, I was the one in the wrong. How weird, right? <laughs> yeah. I Sweeney Todd's Barbershop, dude. Yeah, no, uh, I was the one in the wrong, so uh, I want to say where exactly. I, I never saw the guy again. He never saw me again. I bit his top lip off, so. Fuck. Wow. Really? Must have been a big Hell bite. yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the downside of Tinder. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Tony, yeah. any of these easy yeah. ones you want to jump in or no? It's like one of those cute guys with the cleft palate. This guy's the coolest fucking guy yet. You're the best. Honestly. Tell us I some more it. interesting shit about you. You've um, my, mom, uh, my mom did a lot of heroin. My mom... <laughs> no. My did mom she? would have made Ray Charles look like a blind piano player. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. What? Dope, were, you, dude. were you born on a craps table? No. No. No, I was born underwater, though. <laughs> Is that <laughs> true? Where at? Yeah, at some hospital where they b born people underwater. Uh, yeah. Shit, you know, you know what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm talking about. Have you heard of Oceans of Fun? It's a theme park, dude. <laughs> huh. This guy's great. You ever you been arrested, here, Michael? Uh, I've been put in handcuffs a lot. I've actually never, uh, never been taken in. Huh. Okay. Yeah, dude. Because we're well, freaking tonight's white, tonight. dude. <laughs> it's funny, actually. I had a lot of black friends growing up, and uh, they were like, "Man, always like every time that like cops would never take me in, but all my black friends would go to jail." That's crazy. Yeah, that's freaking dope, dude. That's wild. <laughs> Storytelling, man. <laughs> this is the real deal, Tony. This is the guy, man. He's the one. Well, there you go. I'll do it, man. No, yeah. he's got the fucking stories. He's got that score. This guy's fucking awesome. I'm trying. What's trying. your What's your favorite category you in porn? Oh, uh, choke fuck. Oh, oh God. God. Of course. Yeah. Dude, I, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Are you, yeah. are you talking about BJF or just regular JF? What's BJF? Oh, so but what? <laughs> black choke fucking? What, wait, what? What'd you say? What's BJF? Yeah. Well, never mind. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Michael. All right. Well, that's fun. You single? No, no, I'm engaged. 
No yeah. way. Yeah, I'm fucking stupid. Oh, wow. Fuck yeah. yeah, with it. Dude, that's no, the most lovely handsome. thing I've yeah, ever you're heard. you're a brutally handsome guy. You're yeah, he's a good looking guy. guy. Yeah. Good looking guy. You're in good shape. Yeah. Do you live on that pirate ship in Vegas? No, they don't even have. They don't even have that anymore. They got rid of it. Fuck. Yeah, there's no more pirate <laughs> ship. Uh, hey, when you proposed, did you get down on one knee and you're like, "Hey, will you marry me or whatever, you dumb bitch"? I did. <laughs> I did actually. Uh, and she was like, uh, uh, like a little uh, note to sell for anybody that's gonna propose. Find out what kind of ring she wants, cause she fucking did not like it. She, now she's like, "Oh no, I really, you know, it's good." And she, I was like, "Oh, it's." Wish, Dude, women are fickle again. creatures, bro. Yeah. Fucked up. Well, Michael, it was very funny. Uh, Thank very you. fun stuff. Wait. There he goes. Thank Michael you. D'Angelo, ladies that was and great, gentlemen. Man. That was very good. Hey. On this show, we have a comedian that writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. She holds down the single solitary regular position on this show. Uh, Giving away it all, doing one of the hardest things in all of comedy, going public with a minute of material every single week, not out of the bucket, but regularly. You know her, you love her. Put your hands together for the great Allie Makovsky, ladies and gentlemen. Allie. What a treat. <laughs> I... Oh, God, this is nerve-wracking. I feel good. Um, I Google a lot, and I'm never really happy with the results I get. Uh, when I was younger, I Googled how to tell if I was bisexual. And the Google res results would always come up, if you're Googling this, you probably are. <laughs> Nowadays, I Google how to tell if I've came or come. And Google is telling me, if you're Googling this, you probably haven't. <laughs> I was recently with a guy, and I was hooking up with him. You know, we were fucking. Thank you. <laughs> and I th it felt like I was about to shit. <laughs> and I was like, is this what coming is supposed to feel like? <laughs> But I didn't want to push it because I was like, either way, this is a lose-lose. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Was that the end of it? You want to keep well, going? Lose-lose? Okay. Yeah. Can I go? There's yeah. like just one short part after. Okay. Yeah. So, I, you know, I can't tell if I'm in a shit. It's a lose-lose. I had to Google. Uh, I have acne and I had to Google what color shirt goes with acne. Turns out any low-cut top. <laughs> but then but then I had to Google, what does vaginal herpes look like? But I don't know if it's my acne just migrating south. Okay, that was it. Damn, Allie Makowski throwing in a minute and 40 seconds. Making it look easy. Just Thank working you. it out, Fucking doing awesome. what she does. Just that was a roller coaster. You're a cold-blooded assassin. It's that so was fun. A roller coaster. To Tony, I have a question. I was here on yeah. the hundredth. What? Didn't you? Weren't you here also? Didn't you do the hundredth? Was I here Did on the hundredth? I don't I think so. I don't think I was here on the hundredth. No, oh, man, you yeah. were really good. Really good. Great that jokes. means a lot. No, you. Okay. That sounds sarcastic, okay. but I'm being serious. No, no, I, I loved it. It was great. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was hilarious. That acne look cut top thing, especially. So great. Thanks. I, before this, I was freaking out. There was like three different jokes. I was asking all my friends in the back. I was like, how do I make this herpes thing work? And everyone was like, I got nothing. Oh, and a, then, a, good, a good herpes joke. It never goes away. It's always right there. No, especially if it's vaginal herpes. Once you have a good herpes joke, you hold on to it forever. Well, or, I hope or you, it's or just you get, a or joke. You, or you give it to somebody else, and they, all right, forget it. This isn't going anywhere. Oh, shit. Uh, hey, guys. Tony, did you know I was from New Orleans? Uh, Josh Martin, Tony Hinchcliffe, and Brian Redband are joining us. It's great to be here with the greatest comedian in the world, Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> there you go. That's and me, Tony Hinchcliffe. There you go. Tony on Tony. 
Why do I get that wig? What is it? Is that what my hair looks like? <laughs> like a like a like a Teen Wolf without the mask? It's pretty close. <laughs> oh, okay, Brian. It's not much of a budget on this show, dude. You're gonna get what you get. <laughs> Close your eyes and pretend with us, if you will. <laughs> Something that looks a little bit more like you, but we can't afford to make it happen. <laughs> I love it. Um, Let's get back to Ali Mikofsky, one of yes, the biggest up and comers in the world. The strength of a thousand warriors. One of the best comedians built and bred here on Kill Tony. Okie dokie, oh, yeah. let's move on. That is balls of steel to do it like a minute every week. That's that's really cool. Yeah, it's like the best and the worst, are, you know? Are you sick of it yet? No, I'm not sick of it. It's just stressful because it's like when we have guests like this, I don't, you know, it's like I don't want to do a new shitty minute. I want to like do the hits you know you did uh you were the only person like pretty much in the show's history to do a minute and 40 seconds like it was nothing while doing a full 60 seconds <laughs> every single week so whatever your, that is a like minute and 40 was there problems in the kitchen why was she <laughs> what <laughs> uh, they played the cat and or he played the, he hit she hit the minute and she just kept going i thought she had a stretch there was a problem or something I, and I think now we, 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 we met in the back and uh, you did mention that you don't drink yeah so you do this without drinking yeah that's my point. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and Allie, what did you do before you were the uh, comic? Um, before I was a comedian, I was in school, and then I dropped out to be here. And um, I don't know. I think it's fine. Except, except I think if I did stay in college, I wouldn't talk about my pussy so much. You know? You kind of look like... Wow, look at Red Band hitting the sound effects over there <laughs> from straight from his cell phone. Red Band, let Allie get back to it. The audio's horrible on this podcast. <laughs> wow, that is so true, me. I could not agree with me anymore. Uh, <laughs> Allie, oh, oh, oh Josh. Oh, here's someone to make it work. Come on, Josh. <laughs> Allie, uh, it's, it's Allie, pretty... You're great. It's... <laughs> It's pretty amazing, oh, Ali. Oh, like, oh, every shit. single one of your... I don't remember, like, a really bad set you've ever had. Like, I think no, you pretty much yeah. killed it every single week. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, it's very impressive. We, it's, a, it's an incredible sorry. workload, and uh, it's fun that uh, we have uh, each other for these outlets. It's very cool. You work what, what great do you on get the for show. that? He's <clears throat> killing every week for... How many weeks in a row? Um, getting I don't, a really you diabolical, know, a cool beer little a... fan base of Cool Kill Tony fans spread around the world. I sold out <laughs> 10 shows in Australia, and oh, those fuck. people all listen. They're, sh they're nice listening to her do a new minute every week, you know what I mean? 10 shows yeah, we'll with sold you out. Those peasants worship me as God. <laughs> it's an audio <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, but, Allie, we absolutely love you. You killed Wait. it again. There you go. Allie Give McCoskey, it up for Allie. ladies and gentlemen. Nice one. What do you guys think? Go to the bucket one more time and wrap Let's this thing do up, it. huh? Yeah, yeah, what do you guys think? One more comedian yeah, straight out of the bucket? Guys. Be careful with uh, the waters. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. This should be interesting. It's like a new name. Put your hands together for Jay Snow. I feel like kids these days ain't shit. <laughs> Shows like Scared Straight used to work for me, but nobody's afraid of jail anymore. I think they should change that show to Scared Straight Day Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that same badass kid to the back of McDonald's and let the dude flipping the fries yell at him. <laughs> What's up, motherfucker? You know where you at? McDonald's, nigga. <laughs> I make six seventy-five an hour. I can't buy shit with that. Is that what you want? You like 30 minute lunch breaks? Cause that's where you headed. 
<laughs> Holy oh. shit! Look at that! That's not fair. Jesus fucking Christ! Wow. That may be one of the all-time great fucking minutes ever on this show. That Jay was, Snow, welcome. That. that was crazy. That was a minute with three applause breaks. Yeah, that was great. I'm a fucking believable. That's an applause break every 20 fucking seconds. And I've uh, never seen anything like it in my life. And yes. it had us all laughing very awesome. hard. That was perfect, thank you, man. Thank you. Jay Snow, how old are you? I'm 29. Wow. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, two years. Get the fuck out of here. Two years. My God. That's crazy. I mean, it really is only one joke, but what a great fucking joke that is. Oh, it's a great you, joke. I assume you have at least more of those, right? You gotta, you, how long can you do? Uh, yeah, how long can you beat them up like that? You just tore it up for fucking 60 seconds. How long can you do yeah, it? Yeah, how many of those do you think you have? Um, I, I got a couple more. You want to hear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. I'm the one that brought it up. <laughs> I stopped giving money to homeless people. I don't look homeless enough. It's like if you got shoes on, the struggle's not that real yet. One more? Sure. Yeah, one All right. more. Okay. Why was it always that one kid in high school that was good at doing flips? It's like I didn't learn this shit in my PE class. Where's that kid now, though? Not in the Olympics. Just waiting for a barbecue to pop off or some shit. <laughs> You're a fucking That's monster. That's a great bit. Where are you from? Great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are you, do you, do you live here, Jay Snow? You live here in LA? Yeah, I'm from Compton. You play the right song. <laughs> oh, wow. That's... I'm friends <laughs> with Snoop Dogg. That's true. I am really good friends with Snoop Dogg. I was, uh, Black people I was, uh, love me. I was I was in the studio with my friend Snoop just this week. I thank would you, love to thank you for mentioning that. I name. would love to have you on the next Ice House for sure. There you oh, go. Shit, yeah. Jay right. Snow going thank to the you, Ice thank House. You. Thank you. Hey, this is uh, this is all incredible to me, Jay Snow. I, especially your premises are extremely hilarious, and you just follow them through. I mean, it's already funny on the from the beginning, and you just keep hitting it home. Thank it's you. so fucking diabolical for two years in. Like you seem like a real freak. I had you pegged for a 22 year old that's been doing it for 10 years, and oh, instead no. you're 29 and you've been doing it for two years. Yeah, yeah. I'm a late bloomer. I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do until like five years ago. Well, what were you doing How before you doing that? Were you, you were Working bullshit it. day jobs. Wow. I, I worked security and then I started doing YouTube videos. Oh. Were you doing YouTube videos because you thought it was so hilarious that you were hired to do security at a place? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did it because I thought I was funnier than the guys I saw doing it. You're right. That's exactly a lot of the reason why I moved here and started stand-up comedy. I saw my friends were all sitting in uh, the living room laughing at Dane Cook's special called Vicious Circle. <laughs> and I said, this shit is, I'm leaving. I'm going right. to L.A. and I'm going to fucking do something. Thank you, Dane me. Cook, for being so god-awful. Praise Jesus for Dane Cook. Can we edit that part out of this? Uh, perfect. All right, great. Hey, hey, Tony, sorry to interrupt, but I'm getting worried about Joel Jimenez. He hasn't been here in a long time. Oh, wow. Well, Donald. Joel! I'm here. I'm good. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> another re this is another appearance of one of our all-time favorite uh, characters of all time. It's the greatest hits. This was my greatest hit. All right. Sorry. This is when uh, this is when Joel Jimenez dresses up his penis like Dave Attell. Uh. <laughs> it's got a exactly. He's got a little black ball cap at the top of it. <laughs> he fit his balls on the sock too. It hurts to be honest. <laughs> little wow. tight. Now, last time that happened, what was the deal with that again? Do you happen to be a drummer? Does anybody happen to be a drummer in here? I drum battled the guy and I slaughtered him in front of his family. That's what happened. Oh, that's 
right. We I still a- feel awful. It keeps me up at night, but you know, <laughs> I'm here again. You don't play the drums, though, do you, do Chase? No. <laughs> yeah. It could have gone either way, honestly. Looking at you, you probably, you, maybe you're really good at drums. Wow, <laughs> Joel, Joel had a little trouble getting that There's line nothing out. Worse than uh, a naked oh, I like to take my time with what I'm saying. I want to make sure I s- <laughs> convey myself in the proper Let's context. Let's rush through this fucking part right here, right here, right here. <laughs> turns out when uh, turns out when Joel's asshole I- is pressed up against a leather stool. Mm. Uh, I'm happiest. Just- hey, I, I, but can we go for just one second? Yeah. I just wanted to say something before yeah. it all got weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a show. On uh, Friday night at the Grove in Anaheim, you want to do ten minutes right there? Uh, yeah. Wow! Yeah. Yes, that is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Well, what a way to close out a show, huh? You just saw something diabolical happen as Yo, our new one of our new favorite comedians, Jay over. Snow, will be opening up for the great Ron White this Friday, doing Woo! ten minutes Woo! at the Grove wow. in Anaheim. Hell yeah. That's great, This is how it happens. Jay Snow. Thank you, guys. Taking it all back to that YouTube page at the end of it all. Gotta keep this shit happy, you know? Amazing performance. Uh, You fit in absolutely perfectly. It made me so happy that I went to that bucket for a last time. The great Jay Snow, ladies and gentlemen. He's on Twitter at JSnowPro. Uh, you saw him here. Live audience, make some noise. We did it. That's episode 200 of Kill Tony. That's 300 hours of content on the internet. The number one live podcast in the world. Tonight's drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. How about that? Look at that. That's Dave Attell, Ron White, Tony Hinchcliffe, Brian Redband. It happens that Very quick. Very nice. Uh, anything else you guys want to plug? Grab that microphone real quick. Joel, anything you want to plug? Yeah, uh, number one, tequila. Yes. This I believe to be the best uh, drink of liquor of any kind on the planet. And uh, if you go to taterstequila.com, we'll send it straight to your house. And uh, if you do that, then I'll uh, love you forever. I don't lie to you folks. I make a living by not lying to you people. This is amazing tequila. Give it a try. The great David Hell, ladies and gentlemen, is here Thank as you. well. Once again, happy 200th uh, to the fans of the podcast. You guys are awesome to help promote the new comics. Let the old comics have a word, and of course, the band. And if you want to check me out, I'll probably be uh, chain smoking for the La Quinta Inn on La Cienega. So. <laughs> uh, Truly, three of my funniest friends in the world. Take it over, guys. It's Reagan Watkins and Joel Jimenez, everybody. Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh, reach out to me on social media, at Jeremiah Stand Up. <laughs> and uh, if I can get serious for a second, uh, I love Tony. I love Redman. I love everything that they do for the comedy community. So if you guys can just give them a round of applause. They do so much. Wow. Wow. And... Uh, uh, yeah, they're some of my best friends in the world, so I love you guys. Yes, and we love you very much. Make sure you check out Pat Reagan's uh, new album, Bad Chad. That's available on SoundCloud, iTunes, absolutely everything. Follow him on Twitter at Patty Reagan. Joel Jimenez. Hey, I'm mostly sorry. Hey, thanks again. Guys, this has been great. Two, episode 200. Thanks for having Look me. Look at Joel Jimenez. Chris Dillon. Look at Joel Jimenez Chris. getting serious in his bare feet with his asshole hanging out. You got a bass player Cutest over there. Cutest butt in our comedy. At Chroma Chris for our bass player on Insta. Well, there you go. Tony, here's for another 200, lover. Brian Redman, ladies and gentlemen, and I have done 200 episodes of this podcast. From movie theaters in Toronto to its evolution from the belly room to sometimes in the main room because the comedy store won't give us the main room full time yet. Uh, comedy store, Mitzi Shore, Joy Hinchcliffe. Thank you, guys. Thank you, live audience. Have a good night. Thank you.